It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC South. It's the Houston Texans and the Indianapolis Colts. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Hoosier State and Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. And we're talking about an uber-talented young quarterback, finally healthy after suffering a setback a season ago. Obviously, you'd love to have him on the field, but the time away may have been a blessing in disguise in terms of long-term development. And if you ask anyone around the Indianapolis camp, make no mistake about it, they have lofty the expectations of this young man and he is a big, big player in the Colts' future. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From the 38 now, here's a second and four. They run once more with Taylor. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about 40 up to the 41. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Evades the tackle and has some space. Jonathan Taylor, touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, 59 yards. And the Colts march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7-0 ending. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Texans offense heading out behind their quarterback in his second season. Last year's offensive rookie of the year, C.J. Stroud. And he's coming off of a truly remarkable rookie season where he quieted a lot of his doubters in a most emphatic fashion. Remember, going into the draft, many thought he was the number two quarterback coming out of college. He proved quickly he was a top quarterback going into the NFL. One of the best rookie seasons by a quarterback in recent memory. And what's scary about it, he's not even close to reaching the ceiling. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Just a gain of a couple there. And that'll 
Gilbert on second down. And Stroud now to throw. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. So the completion good for six yards. And now it's third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Stroud looking to throw. Jumps it off to Mixon. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat, complete, but really nice open field tackling. And they played that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Colts territory. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That's good for a first down, his second catch of the opening drive. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? Mixon with a first down carry. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your own line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Stroud working out of the gun. It's complete to Diggs. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Joe Mixon taking it in from seven yards away. And the Texans respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And just shedding him off there. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some more upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. 
Now it's Richardson. And that one is incomplete. And it also concludes quarter number one. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. As they've got it with a third down coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Richardson shotgun on third down. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. Desmond King deep for Houston. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Stroud. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards, the Texans pick up the first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Stroud. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A lot depend on the spot there, and he got it, but it wasn't by much, was it? I remember Coach Madden talking about, depending on which foot the official used, that would tell you whether you had the first down or not. You want that upfield foot to be the one that spots the ball, don't you? And you and I have the luxury of a... Stroud is hit, and the ball is loose. And the coach pick it up. And he's free going down the left side. but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Gay is on for the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Heading out is the Texans offense as they get set to take over here.
Now Stroud. That's complete. It's Collins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Stroud out of the gun here. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They asked him to take charge and give it to a spot where they can at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. Over the middle complete. That's Brown. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. A five-yard gain on the play. First down, Texas. Stroud to throw it. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Zaire Franklin. And he will bring it back. An interception return for the Colts TD. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Gay now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And able to get this out to the 25. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Stroud coming right back after the pick six. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A shotgun snap to Stroud. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. Down the left sideline. Touchdown, Houston. Noah Brown, 69 yards. And the Texans get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbair now to kick it away. Fighting his way through contact. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. 
line of scrimmage. The 31 now on first and 10. Here's Richardson to throw. Eluding the pressure right. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. This pass left side to Downs. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big-time factor in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the Texans' offense now. They get set to start this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was on the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Play action. Stroud now. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Houston. Stephon Diggs. 67 yards. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering, take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by him. And once he's by him, there's no catching him. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And they will wrangle him down a couple of yards shy of the 30. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. First by him near the 35. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. So from the 37, here's second down and one. Let's go now. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. That is caught, and they're going to have the 
Bills across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Richardson looking to throw. Keeps himself upright. Finds his big tight end, No Alley Cox. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 more on that one, and another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. 77 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Knocked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he is going to have a coach first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and ten, Taylor now. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Here now, second and four. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Here we go. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Tyler Goodson, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. And maybe that's the magic touch right there. They didn't use him at all in the first half, at least running the football. But here they entrust him with some work down in the red zone, and he responds. One carry, one touchdown. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And bulldozing his way through. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Texans football, but they trail here as we get started in the fourth quarter. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll show the defense. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Throwing now is Stroud. 
That's going to be complete on the sideline, but you know that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. The result only four yards there on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves because now you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes, but you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. They only got a couple, but a couple is all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Here's Stroud. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. Able to slither by. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. 44 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. They'll look to throw now on first down. Caught. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. This drive didn't end well, but they keep stringing these together. They'll like what they're doing. That was an eight-play drive before they ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Following the fumble recovery, Richardson out of his hands quickly to Pittman. And they get him down, but now before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And he'll wind up getting about six out of that, as that's going to lead us to the two-minute warning. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Try to take this home, they'll run. <laughs> I love the look you just gave me because I, I know what you're thinking. If you're going to run towards the perimeter, you better either stay in bounds or get the first down or both. He didn't either. Imagine the looks he's getting right now from his team, from his coaches. They go over those scenarios all the time. And as you said, he didn't either. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. Now it's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. 
Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Taylor. And he is going to have a Colts first down. And that should be the one that finishes this game off. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, we'll likely put an end to this thing. A give for Taylor running right side. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. This offensive line starting to win up front. You win that battle in the trenches, you can kind of wear them down here late. So you bring in the second part to that equation, and that's the big running back, the big bruiser, who can get more than what's blocked and break a few extra tackles and gain yardage. Down to Anigo's Richardson, and that should finish off this victory. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos and kill their motivation going forward. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.